some Dinar Guru updates uh, from Jeff. Question, what are we waiting on? What do we listen to? Answer, the CBI. Question, what did the CBI tell us? Answer, years ago the CBI told us we're waiting on a fiscal budget year before that rate is going to change. When the CBI talks, we listen. Question, when does the Iraq's fiscal year start? Uh, Google tells us it's January. Google and the internet are incorrect. The last data Iraq revealed publicly for a fiscal year came from the last budget they did, which was 2019. When you Google Iraq's fiscal year, you're seeing old data from 2019 because Iraq never did a 2020 budget. That data about the country's fiscal years comes from the last page of their budget. All right, Bruce via Wiser Now. Uh, now, did the weather slow us down? I think it is quite possible. Look, we've had over 4 million people in Texas without electricity. That had to affect not only the individual, but people working, redemption centers, banks, could have been under a blackout situation. All right, Mark Z via PDK. Uh, the RV is going to happen in Iraq before we can cash in the U.S. Mark Z says, along those lines, they are openly talking about it in Iraq. Here they are talking about raising the rate on par with the U.S. dollar. It's not a secret now, and we are close. They are openly talking about raising the value. I'm expecting it very soon now. We could get the call at any minute. I think we really are that close. All right, Frank 26 article, quote, Al Rafferty and Bank leaves the seventh item, unquote. How many times have I told you Iraq is Article 8? since January 2018, because that's when I told you they started using a second set of books. We have an article from the IMF that said very clearly that yes, Iraq is Article 8 because we're allowing them to use mechanisms of Article 8 for their monetary and economic reform. Quote, Al Rafidain Bank announced today, uh, Thursday, that it has withdrawn the Article 7 and that was previously imposed on it. The exit decision came after fulfilling after fulfilling uh, all the financial obligations to international financial institutions, unquote. They're telling you they are not at a program rate anymore. This is stupendous. This is immeasurable. This article explains why they're not handcuffed anymore. It explains why they are Article 8. It explains why they are international. Soon they'll explain why their currency is international because they lifted the three zeros. Pimpy article, quote, Brent oil to $64, unquote. I love this, $80 before summertime. That's what I'm predicting. Uh, let's hope that's accurate because it's going to help them, our rack, big time. Uh, this is good because this means more. there's more money they can use to go out to the private sectors to start producing more jobs. $64 a barrel, of course that's good news. We'll keep an eye on this. All right, Bruce via Wiser Now, we really are. Are, we were really looking at getting started early this week, but that didn't happen. We had not had the snow and this ultra freezing cold, especially look at Texas with between four to five million people without power. And Texas had the largest number of currency of any state. The point is redemption centers could not all be open. 286 banks and redemption centers nationwide were not answering a ping to them. In other words, they were not open. They did not have juice. I don't know if everyone's back online yet. The weather, it really threw a monkey wrench into this thing. All right, Militiaman articles. The Kurdish delegation reveals the latest results of its negotiations with Baghdad on the budget. The Kurdistan government confirms that a quasi-agreement has been reached between Baghdad and Erbil. Looks to me like they have a deal since 1220. Uh, now seems to be hammering out past arrears. Looks like they have a new formula to use too goes to the thinking that a new formula is based off a future exchange rate differential. They'll have to be part of the electronic system at the borders to exclusively to the non-oil revenues to the treasury. Sure looks like a digital requirement, a level playing field. They sure seem to suggest that they will have this sorted this next week or between now and then anyway, we shall see. All right, Bruce, via Wiser Now, I did not anticipate anything for us to start this week. However, I am hearing from cer certain of our top bank that we're looking very strongly for a Tuesday start. I think somewhere between Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning, we should be able to have the email notifications and quite possibly the toll-free numbers. So that is the tentative schedule timeline. 
Great Jeff article, quote, the, parliament, the Iraqi parliament talks about the government's presentation of a new budget in the coming months. Iraq's telling us they are probably going to finish their budget by sometime next week. So if they're going to finish their budget, why do they need to introduce the budget in the coming months? It's because they have the same exact fiscal year as Kuwait, April through March. This is more confirming information. I know this for a fact because I've reached out and contacted the government of Iraq. I have a contact in the government of Iraq that I'm able to talk to. Everything is right on track and on time. We're looking good. 